In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a follow-up message to your existing text strip in Sales God CRM. To get started, all you have to do is click on text strips on the left, and then on the right side of your screen, you should see the name of your text strip. So you're going to click on it, and then you should see the, the blue bar going across the screen over here. Now, to add the message, all you have to do is click on Add Component over there, and you'll enter your message in this box. Now, if you don't want to get super complicated, what you can do is just copy the first message that you've already sent out, just like this. You're going to close that, click on Add Component, and then you're going to paste the message into the box, just like this. Now, you don't want to send the same message over and over again, or I mean, you don't want to send that same message that you've already sent before. So what you want to do is you want to reference the words following up. Or you could say following up again or checking back again, something like that. Because if, if with each with each subsequent follow-up message, if you put in the words following up, checking back, checking in, checking back again, that sort of thing, that shows the lead that you're trying to reach them, that you've sent them a message before, and it's going to trigger them to, re to reply to you because they're going to see that you're trying to reach them. And it may be that some people may have forgotten that you sent them the first message, and then when you send them that second message, they're going to say, that's right, I wanted to reach out to that person. And they're going to, they're going to follow up with you based on that second message that you send to them. Now, as before, one of the things that you can also do to improve your, the deliverability of your message is you could put a spin token in the message. This shows the carriers that you're not sending the same thing thousands of times in one campaign. So you can put it there. And then if you want to, you can also address the lead by their first name by using the token code here, just like that. And that could be in the, that could be in the beginning of the message. Now, you do want to make sure that you watch your, your character count limit over here, because um, as I've said in previous videos, your, your, your character count limit can only be 160 characters. So you're going to want to shorten it down if it gets too long. Um, you don't have to put in add delay after. You only want to use this feature if you're going to be scheduling follow-up messages um, all at the same time. So because as I've said in previous videos, you know, if you are creating one text strip all at once, then with each subsequent follow-up message, you could put in, you could delay them by um, hours, minutes, or even days. M most people typically will delay, uh, put, a, put a delay between their text messages of like two days, just like that. But I mean, if you're just scheduling just a, a regular follow-up message, Kind of a one shot a one shot type deal then you don't have to worry about using this feature today and you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and then click save once you save that message what's going to happen is that this is going to tell the system that you, you you're putting another message into the message the workflow the message queue, you know the, the delivery queue you're saying i want to get get the system ready to send out another message you know to this to the people on this list again and it's going to prepare it to do that now, before you click activate on the text strip, what you want to do next is you want to you want to confirm that you still have phone numbers attached to the text strip right over here. Um, if you don't see that you have any phone numbers, you want to click on attach phone, just like that, and you'll see that you'll see your phone numbers here, and you'll just click and you'll add them to the text strip just like this. You also want to confirm your settings to make sure that your settings still look good. Um, ideally, you don't want to be sending a, a text strip campaign past eight o'clock. Uh, because most people are typically non-responsive after eight so you want to edit that if you need to so then and if everything looks good then all you have to do from here is just click on activate and then what's going to happen is that if you click if you go back over here to text strips once you activate it then you should see you should see this you should see total active and waiting and waiting means that the messages are getting ready to go into the queue and be delivered to that people on your list again now, if you want to confirm that the messages are going out, all you have to do next is go over here to Messenger and then click on All. And you should see the messages popping up in here just like this. So, and, and most, more, most often than not, when the messages start going out into the delivery queue, it's just going to show the name of the lead but no message. So don't, don't freak out and go, okay, it's not working. If you just see the name of the person but no message, it shows you that the messages are going into the into the the delivery queue and they're getting ready to go out. So that's how you restart a campaign and send another message to the people on your list. If you have any questions, just give me a call back.
Thanks again for using Sales Guide CRM. Have a great day.